Hello people, it is Della 304 once again. Jeez. I am on Skype with my good friend right now. You should go check him out. I know him in real life. But his YouTube channel is Mega Man3862. He only has like one video. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you can't hear it because the speakers are off. But anyway, the point of this video is to um, kind of explain why I didn't make an upgrade video. Uh, today, I upgraded my computer. My build, I know it's dark, sorry. Uh, I upgraded my computer to a full ATX um, MSI Z77A-G43 motherboard. You can see it right there. Right there. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's a Z77 chipset, obviously. It's got SATA 6 gigabit per second. It's got USB 3. It's got nice big VRM coolers right there. It's got much better power delivery than my previous board. Um, you know, the list goes on about the features. Uh, and of course, it's full size ATX, so it goes all the way down to the bottom like it should. And it looks good in this case since this is a full tower case. So. That's pretty sweet. I like it. Um, but yeah, the reason why I didn't make an upgrade video is because I just wanted to get this done. Because my previous motherboard was really messing up. Like seriously, it was just really, really messing up. That was the ASUS P8861M LX3 R2.0. As you can see, I have two of them because I use the same board in my mom's build, which of course her motherboard is still fine. I, mine was just 11. Sorry about the video being out of focus. There you go. But, um, uh, yeah, mine was just messed up, so I'm going to RMA that thing and get a new one because it failed in four months, which was kind of stupid. It didn't fail, per se, but every time, excuse me, every time that I would, uh, go on the internet and, like, talk on Skype and, uh, it kind of happens randomly, but it was mostly when I started up Steam. Uh, sometimes when I started up Skype, the internet would just go down. Like the little Wi-Fi in the corner right here would just say nope, and it'd give me the little uh, triangle of death saying that your internet's crapped up. And I would have to restart my computer to get it to work again because it was very, very finicky about detecting USB devices. Uh, and then if you would wiggle the USB ports on the back, like, if you would even touch it, it would disconnect on my old board, so that was kind of weird. And, of course, uh, I didn't tell you guys about this, but I let this computer on for a couple of days for a Minecraft server, and, uh, one of my secondary hard drive just, boom, just, like, stopped being detected at all. And, uh, I was able to fix that, I just went into the BIOS and found my SATA devices to be disabled for some stupid reason. I guess I've messed with something, but I was able to fix that. But today, I was, you know, just using my computer, and that Wi-Fi thing, it just kept disconnecting from the internet, and my webcam kept messing up, like, six times within an hour today. So I restarted my computer very, very many times. And uh, at, this, at that point, I just basically said, okay, you know what, screw it, I'm buying a new motherboard tonight. So, I did. That motherboard was only a hundred bucks, by the way. So it was a really good deal for what I got. Uh, so now I don't have an 861 micro ATX anymore. I got a nice Z77 um, full ATX. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't do an upgrade video. I could have done one, but eh, I didn't really feel like going through the hassle. And again, sorry about the uh, dim lighting. It's nearly 11 o'clock where I am, so I don't really want to turn on the big light, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a better video of this some other time, yeah, but I just want to show you guys, uh, to my, uh, WEI scores since they went up, I just, I didn't even think they were going to go up, but, let's see, so, my CPU, which is at the top there, went from a 7.4 to a 7.5 for some reason, I don't know why. Um, so that's kind of cool. And uh, the uh, RAM stayed the same, no, 
Yeah, no. No, it didn't. The RAM, I think, went up too from 7 point something. I, don't, I forget what it was before. Uh, to a 7.8, which so that's pretty cool. Uh, my uh, graphics stayed the same, and my SSD went up from a 7.7 .7 to a 7.9, so that was pretty sweet. And that is due to my previous motherboard only having SATA 3, and this had, or only having SATA 2, and this has SATA 3, uh, the new motherboard. So instead of getting 250 megs a second, I can get 550 megs a second. Uh, which is what my SSD is rated for. So now I have no bottlenecks on my system in terms of, you know, transfer rates of my SSD. And I am very happy with those scores. So, yeah. So yeah, sorry I couldn't make it a legitimate upgrade video, but yeah, I'll, I'll title this video and make it part of the upgrade series, but it won't actually be a legitimate hands-on upgrade video. So, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video, um, and comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.